1-800-273-8658. Hello Gorgeous is conveniently located in the heart of downtown Ocala, right next to the historic Marion Theater. And don't forget, we also do men and children's cuts too. Hello Gorgeous. All right, five minutes after 8 o'clock, a little bit overcast right now on the second day of March, and 67 degrees is what the temperature is here at the mall. Uh, 77 is the expected high with a 73% chance that we'll see rain today. Uh, The next few days, it's going to be relatively cool but mild. Tomorrow looks pretty nice, partly cloudy but cool with lows tomorrow night reaching down to 44 and that's pretty much the story for the whole weekend. Uh, looks looks like a good weekend, though. Today's going to be the probably the ugliest day of the uh, four-day period between now and, and oh, Monday. Oh, okay. And Galen Unold is on the phone from Life South Community Blood Center. Good morning, Galen. Hey, good morning, Larry, Robin. How are you all? Pretty good. Where are you right now? Uh, I'm on my way to Jacksonville. Jacksonville again. Tomorrow yeah. is, is the Red Sox game in the, in the spring training. Okay. You knew that already, obviously. Are you going to take the well, day they off? they play every day. Oh, no, they, no, oh, they play like every day. Oh. Yeah, they've been playing for the last week. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. first game like a week ago, yeah. Oh, okay. It says the Braves play the Atlanta... Oh, the Braves play the Red Sox tomorrow at 1.05 p.m. Yeah. Morning, Jess. Had to get Jess yeah. in there. So... Oh, okay. So how, how long does spring training last? Is it a couple more weeks? Uh, yeah, until I think like the first week of April. Um, oh, okay. They extended it this year because of the World Baseball Classic. Right. Oh, so we still have time to go down there to pick a team and go right. see them. Yeah. Yeah. The, 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 the Red Sox play the Braves on Friday. Tomorrow, yeah. Or, yeah, yeah, tomorrow, yeah. And uh, yeah, they uh, they host Tampa Bay today, but. Um, Oh, so maybe, okay, maybe what I'm misunderstanding is tomorrow they're in Kissimmee, but usually they're down in Fort Myers. Well, yeah, I mean, they're playing the Grapefruit League, so, you know, they travel and sometimes... Oh, okay, so that's what I didn't understand. Okay, but if you were a Red Sox fan and you didn't want to go to Fort Myers, you could go tomorrow and see them. Closer. But is is that considered, are they considered the away team tomorrow? Yes. Yeah, they're the away team. Oh, Okay. All right. Well, this part of, part of the story I have a question about. Part okay. of the, by the way, this is not the topic. It sort of is because the topic is the twenty, the top twenty millennial food favorites. <laughs> Yesterday we talked about healthy food. Today these are not healthy food choices. But I'll tell you what the top twenty favorites are. Um, but getting back to the the uh, spring training, it says here that a popular trend this year is for fans. To bring uh, what's it called again? Craft beer from the city of that they're rooting for. Oh, okay. So if you so if you're rooting for the Red Sox, you would bring a craft beer from Boston. Boston. Oh, right? Okay. right? Sure. So does yeah. it, does does Ocala have a craft beer? Do, does every city have a craft beer? Do I do? Am I missing they something? Have craft beer. I think every region may. I mean, there's a there's a bunch of breweries around us. Um, I don't think there's one, one in Ocala. There's, yeah, I mean, there's, there's, I, there's, I know there's two, and they're small. They're very, very small. They make very small batches. So, who do you think started yeah. this trend? The, the craft breweries, <laughs> <know>. right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they, they probably said, "Support your team. Get a beer from Boston." We used to have a craft yeah, you know, brewery the, here, but then the restaurant yeah, the, sold, and it became something else. So. Some of those craft beers, you have one, and it just knocks you completely out because of the alcohol content. Oh, really? So, yeah, you have to be really careful. <laughs> Gainesville has one <clears throat> craft brewery up there. Uh, so what was the one in Ocala? Was it hops? Was that yeah. Okay, yeah, I, it was I, hops. I hear what you're saying. Okay. Not really a cra- I, I guess that they brewed their own kind of. They had a still. They very rarely actually brewed anything. So. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, I, I wouldn't consider that a craft beer. Because oh. it was a a chain, but I mean, I guess it's the definition. I, I just would consider. It. But anyway, the other the other uh, thing, I guess, down in the Kissimmee Spring Training, whatever that that state, whatever, what do you call that place down there? ESPN Y World of Sports, right? Uh huh. Yeah, it's not called that anymore. Is it? I thought it was called something else. I, I this. I, uh, I'm just getting it straight from the news that I had this morning. But anyway, maybe it is. They have. I know they're new, leaving there, but yeah. They have a new thing on the menu, and I can't believe this is new. It's a Cuban sandwich and nachos. Hello. <laughs> That's new. That hasn't been there before. I don't understand that one. Oh my gosh. Fair question. 
All right. Uh, yeah, get, I, go ahead. I, I don't think the. Uh, I, I think they. I think. I think they completely changed the name of that stadium because I don't think there's any. It has. It doesn't have any affiliation with ESPN or Disney or any. I think it's just called like Kissimmee Stadium. Oh really? Hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Just well, who knows? You know, you know, news people. We just get things. Yeah. We we think we know and then we don't know. <laughs> Let me get to the phone. Uh, good morning. You're on the air. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Um, there is a, a small craft brewery in downtown Ocala um, on uh, Magnolia. Uh, it's over near where the uh, the old uh, Lincoln Mercury used to be. Is that called uh, the I Ale? Go in. Uh, so I didn't. Uh, you know, I didn't. I just made note of it as I was passing by. I think that must be called Ale Works, right? I go. think that might be Ale it. Ale Works, yeah. Really? Okay. Is that where we used to be at TMC? No, across the street. Across the street from Double. In the corner. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Jim. All have, right. Have a good day. Have you tried any of this? Why is it? What? What makes it a craft beer? What? What does the word craft actually mean? I think it's just like locally made. And it's not made in a big time brewery, so. They make very small batches, so it's hand-crafted. We'll have Don't to go see. there. I Try it out. <laughs> we'll have to go there. Of course. And what was the wine that, that Julie had uh, named? The horse's arse wine. Yes, did that's she, it. Does that mean she just got the label, or did she actually des- design the recipe? Or what she it? said she worked with the vineyards in California and designed the, the bouquet. The bouquet. The bouquet. She had white, red, and then there was another one. There were three of them. Gamble, had, have you ever designed she a bouquet? Designed the bouquet. <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> I don't even. Have, I don't. There's so many things that people are specializing in, mm-hmm. and I don't even have a clue. I, I, I don't even have a clue. It, it, it's, it's interesting, isn't it? The, the world is. We've got so many people doing so many different things, which is not a bad thing. No, it's a great thing. All right, how is the blood supply? Then I'm going to tell you the top 20 millennial food choices, favorites, I mean. Uh, well, how's the- uh, Yeah, we're, we're doing all right. We're, uh, we're just a few days away from spring break, though, and so we just need people to get out there and get, get the blood to donate blood, and uh, we're still in critical need of type O, so, which is 48% of the population. So if you're an O, I need you to donate. All right, donate blood, uh, and that important message right there—that's the the heart of our visit with Galen each morning. And uh, we would not be able to do that important message without the help of two great sponsors, and those are Palm Garden of Ocala Health and Rehabilitation Center. If you need long-term skilled nursing care, or someone you love does, Palm Garden. If you need short-term rehabilitative care. Palm Garden. Mm-hmm. If you need respite care for the caregiver so that the caregiver can get a break, um, mom will love it. She will have a good time there. They, they play games. They eat well. They, there's a great social scene going on there. Uh, and they are located at 2700 Southwest 34th Street. Go take a tour. You'll see why we love Palm Garden of Ocala. Penn Flooring has some beautiful flooring. And how do I know? Because I'm walking on it every day right here at WOCA. It's the carpeting. It's the... Uh, the, the flooring, the wood flooring, it's, it's actually artificial wood, but it looks really beautiful. Uh, and, and everything else, the bathrooms have what looks like brick. And it's just, just go see for yourself at the uh, showroom at 1201 Southwest 17th Street, just over the McKay Williams Bridge, a few blocks from Pine Avenue. And a uh, real quick mention of Silverback Restoration, LLC. They cleaned the carpet that we've had in this studio since we opened, mm-hmm. and it looks brand new. So it's a... It's a it's a it's a comment on the work that Silverback Restoration did. That's Jesse. Uh, I'm sorry, Jaris Palmer. Jaris mm-hmm. Palmer, and it's also a, a testament to the quality of the flooring that Pen Flooring put in. Yeah, Pen Flooring is excellent. Wears so well. Good stuff. All right. I know. Yesterday we were talking healthy, and, and uh, today, Galen, I have for lunch. I have it already in a bag. <laughs> it is a. Uh, it's a wrap I made myself. Mm-hmm. Right, I went and got these tortilla things, mm-hmm. but but I got the vegetable vegetable ones. I actually read the labels, Rob. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. And, and it's got uh, two slices of turkey on it, mm-hmm. lettuce, tomatoes, onions, and something else, celery. I think. Oh, that sounds really made it. Kind of lettuce. Kind of lettuce. I know you're gonna yell at me for this. <laughs> I thought of you. I'm not going to yell at you. I got it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got the lettuce. Okay. There was two bins of lettuce. One said organic. 
for three ninety nine and one said lettuce for a dollar eighty nine and I said how do you know the difference they both look the same exactly they both have everything at the same level it, I, I I asked the I don't care if it's organic. I think that's overrated. Whatever. But I said to the guy, how do you know? He said four digits. If it's got a, a five-digit number, it's organic. So I said, well, I got four digits. <laughs> so I got the dollar eighty nine. Good for you. <laughs> I just I like would've. it, Gail. I know you and John <laughs> based out. Everybody not, doesn't want me to have iceberg lettuce. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Why? Did you, well, no, I was just going to say, I mean, did you try spinach or... In my life? Uh, romaine was better. Yeah. In my life, it, yes. It, I am 62 years old. Over, over iceberg. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> you, you, you're talking about the, the, the nutritional content. Yes. Yes. I know. Okay. But I like the crunch. <laughs> 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 I, I like the texture. <laughs> You know, you and you and John. Right, you, you that and, is better than French fries. <laughs> I, I'm not criticizing. I was just asking the question. All right, let me, <laughs> let me take a break. I, I'm going to tell you. Hey, if you're going to come down to me on about iceberg lettuce, wait till you hear what these millennials are eating. <laughs> you're going to love this stuff. All right. And again, nothing wrong with cheating. You're allowed to cheat. Okay. Well, we'll, long, cons we'll consider they, this cheating. You know, as long as the other ninety percent is not cheating, then you're going to be great. <laughs> All right, all right. Hold on. Let me uh, get this commercial break in here, and we'll be right back. Oh, look at this. We've got a whole lineup here. We'll be right back. Hi, this is JP from Penn Flooring here in Ocala. I would like to invite you to come in and visit our spacious showroom where we have solutions for every style and budget. From wall-to-wall -wall carpet to hardwood floors and tiles, we have an unsurpassed selection of... Southwest 17th Street, just over the bridge. Pen flooring, quality customer service with a family touch. Palm Garden wants to get to the heart of the matter. If you've been in the hospital as a cardiac patient, maybe you have a pacemaker or congestive heart failure or an arrhythmia, or perhaps you're a heart bypass patient, then consider Palm Garden as your rehab choice. With proven outcomes, second to none, Palm Garden fixes broken hearts. Call today at 854-6262. That's 854-6262. The NFL alumni is sponsoring a Clays for Kids, a sporting event to benefit the Marion County Children's Charity. The event will take place at the Robinson Ranch in Inglis, Florida on Saturday, April 8th. Call 427-0950 for detailed information. The NFL alumni will provide gift bags, breakfast, lunch, prizes, and drawings throughout the day. Call 427-0950 for detailed information on the Clay for Kids sporting event hosted by the NFL alumni. All right, 18 minutes after 8 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. Galen Unold is on the phone from Life South Community Blood Centers. And um, we've got the phone ringing. So let's take a few of these phone calls, Galen, and then I'm going to tell you the top 20 millennial food favorites. These are some amazing things, by the way. Good morning. You're on the air. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the much maligned iceberg lettuce does serve a function. Uh, it has <laughs> a, a, quant a quality called roughage uh, for those that have uh, regularity problems. There you go. Thank you. So, uh, it's not a total loss. Thank you for say. taking my side on this one. I just like the way it feels. I just like the way it feels. Uh, it, it, it's not bad. It's just, it's neutral. So, that's all. I was just, I, know, every, every, I think it's great that you're doing that. I'm very <laughs> proud of you. Don't be proud of me. <laughs> That sounds weird. <laughs> just, I'm All just right. telling you. Just telling you. All right. Well, anyway. So I think it's a step in the right direction. It is a and, step uh, in the right direction. The yes. The better you eat, the better you feel. There you longer go. Longer you'll live. The more beans at every meal. All right. Here are the top 20 millennial food favorites. And the, the question to ask yourself, would you try this? The, the number 20 is Spam and Cheetos Sandwich. Now, this... Basically, the spam serves as the as the bread, okay, and the Cheetos are between the two slices of spam. That's what this is. Okay. There's no bread actually in this I, sandwich. I have to have my spam grill. Um, that's a that's a rule of mine. I haven't had spam in a long time. Okay. I just had it. Uh, would I eat that? Back in the day, like when I was in my teens, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have. Absolutely. Too. I used to put potato chips on a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was old. For yeah, me. my girlfriend so, did that too. 
Ken, are you doing something yeah. different with the phone? I love the crunch. I love the crunch. The phone is cutting in and out. Is there is there like a, a button or something on there? Uh, nope. Okay. No, I mean, I'm in the middle of nowhere on 301. But All right. Oh. Maybe that's it. All right. The next one is uh, 19 is Dur- the Doritos casserole. You show, you, oh my. you show up at a party with a covered dish. What did you make? <laughs> Doritos casserole. I have no idea what's in it, but it looks like uh, potatoes all gratin, you know? But oh. it, but it's Doritos. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And the top is like a, you you kind of uh, heat up the Doritos so they're kind of melted. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> there was a time when I beat that. Now now I probably wouldn't need it. No, I wouldn't need it. So, because it's too, just too salty. Uh, the next, the next one I can imagine eating. It's a spaghetti omelet. They just make an omelet and they throw some spaghetti in it and flip it over. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, I don't know. No, I couldn't eat that. That doesn't sound appealing at all. No, uh, just fry the spaghetti up. Spinach, and get the eggs. Spinach is great in omelets, Larry. Spinach is fantastic. <laughs> yes. I've actually had this, by the way. <laughs> Western Alpha. Yeah. All right. Uh, number 17 is s'mores with chili flakes. I had to look up what chili flakes are. Yeah, I don't know. Chili, like chili. chili flakes are the things. I, every every uh, pizza place has them on the table, but I never use yeah. them. Oh, that's what those are? Those red things, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. I love those. I have to have that on my pizza. I love it. That's S- pretty good. I'm going to have to try that. S'mores with chili flakes, yeah. Um, Adds a probably a little smoky pepperness to it. I like it. <laughs> right, right, right. Um, melted cheese on a pop tart. I haven't done that. I mean, I put butter on my pop tart. I've done that too. I've done that too. Never done the melt. <laughs> I've done that. There's sugar on a pop tart, right? Is there sugar frosting? Some of oh, them, right? way too much. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you mean more? Oh, I thought you had more sugar. Yeah, you mean to have the icing? Right. Sure. Yeah, right. it's already sweet enough. All right, the next one is, I just can't imagine the look on the faces of somebody who tries this if they didn't know what it was. They are, are freezing into popsicle molds the juice from the pickle jar. It's, they're calling them pickle popsicles. Oh, no, that sounds good. Point of that. That really? sounds like you. Dill. Dill, that sounds so good. Really? Not bread and butter, but the dill oh. sounds really good. Okay. Well, there you go. To each his own. <laughs> That's right. I'm with you, Larry. That would really make me mad. <laughs> I was thinking of getting a. Uh, and let's be honest. Nobody likes the nobody Parker. likes the green popsicle anyway. <laughs> and then it, it gets stuck with the green popsicle. This? Is this pond water? Then, what is it? Is, yeah, you okay? You remember growing up and you had the the dual popsicles that were stuck together? <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. So you would have to split it. And you fight over who got the red, or right. the blue versus the yellow or the right. green. Exactly. Who want the yellow or the green? <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. Oh, then we right. made those just to make it. And you're, you know, there was no, I always seem to get the yellow or the green. At least that's what I remember. Oh, <laughs> you lost. I, I swear they, they put those in there just to build moral confidence. Because you were always hoping it was banana. It was yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was lemon. <laughs> All right. I, I, ice cream tortillas. Instead of ice cream cones, they just put ice cream in a tortilla. Sounds all right. What point of that? I guess just Sounds like an ice cream sandwich. Oh, I mean, yeah. Well, a tortilla is soft. I mean, it's yeah. just going to melt and get all soft. <laughs> yeah, that I, I can't. I, I prefer my ice cream on a cone. Absolutely. So, mm-hmm. a waffle cone. So, that's one of those cheats. Uh, number 13 is uh, melted cheese on a honey bun. Hmm. Oh, Again, that, that's, I, I guess you could put cheese on anything. <laughs> cheese on anything. I like to yes. heat up the honey bun just a touch so that the glazing kind of melts. I haven't had a honey bun in a long, long time. <laughs> um, the next one just sounds nasty. Uh, melted. I crave donuts sometimes. Melted, <laughs> melted down candy corn fondue. Oh, melted down candy corn fondue. Yeah. Now I hate. I hate candy corn, so. So if you dip your potato chip into this fondue or your pretzels, whatever. Yeah, and the candy corn. You got the candy corn flavor on it in melted form, in fondue form. I don't like candy. I hate candy corn. I right. love it, but it makes me choke. All right, number 11 on the list. These are, by the way, uh, millennials who identify themselves as millennials, which we looked it up, and that's anybody born between 82 and 2000, what was it again? Now, 82 and 2002. 82 and 2002. Okay, so that would mean Alex. 
I can't yeah. imagine Alex eating most of these. Mm-hmm. Uh, but listen to this one. An egg baked in a pear. Like a raw egg? I mean, how, what Well, it'd be raw until that? you baked it. I, mm-hmm. I, an egg baked in Wait, a pear. Did you keep it in the shell, I guess is what I should have said. Did you, or do you... How do you get the pear? How do you reconstruct the pear? This I guess is a just, good question. I don't know. Well, maybe you core the pear, and then you crack the egg, and you put the soft egg inside the, oh, the pour it out it of the pear, and then you put it in your oven and bake it. Oh, that doesn't sound good at all. I, no. I mean, I've had baked pear on some dishes and stuff, and I like baked pear. I love pear. Yeah, I love the pears. All right. All right, the next one, I saw a photo. I don't know how they did this, but it's eggs in tube form. You just slice them, and you get the egg white, and the middle is the egg yolk. I don't know how they make these, but... Hmm. It's got to be a special thing. Egg, it must be something you buy, eggs in tube form. Hmm. Number nine. This is a... This is, this is a, <laughs> it's a special chicken. It's a special, yeah. chicken. <laughs> special chicken, yeah. <laughs> That's good. By Purdue. That's good. Yeah, they're, they're definitely not free range. <laughs> Genetically modified, <laughs> yeah. Genetically modified. They're def- definitely not free range. Um, mm-hmm. The next one I think I might try. A pickle used as a bun for a hot dog. You just slice the... Oh, s- slice I've the, done that. Yeah, you, I've done that. Have you done that? That sounds yeah. good. A dill pickle. I, I, don't, I don't like it, but I've tried it. Because I, I do like pickles. And uh, I don't care who you are. You got to like a hot dog. Mm-hmm. So. All right, the next one. I don't know. A hot dog with onions on the top. It's as good as life gets. Oh yes, for sure. All right, the next one is Kool Aid chicken wings. The chili's got to be right. I, I I like I don't like beans in my chili when I eat it on a hot dog. Oh, okay. But I have to have beans in it when I'm just eating chili. <laughs> okay. And I like rice with it and cheese. All right. There you go. I don't know where that chili part of this came from. <laughs> All right, the next one is Kool-Aid chick- chicken wings. These are chicken wings. Oh, wait, wait. When you think hot dog, you don't think chili? No, I do not. I think onions. You just <laughs> you just think mustard? You put ketchup on your hot dog? No, I put mustard and sauerkraut. It always sauerkraut? Huh? Always sauerkraut. Always? always? No, not always. No, not always. No. That's your preference. Okay. As opposed to <laughs> at chili. Nathan's. If I'm at Nathan's, I get sauerkraut. It's always what I used to get at Nathan's. I get you. That, 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 it's a, I think you can know a lot about a person, what they put on their hot dog. <laughs> oh, you might know where they grew up. That might, that's probably what you know. <laughs> that's, a, that's a big piece, yeah. <laughs> I put I ketchup, what, relish, and... I well, I learned, I learned about the pickles. slaw dog from uh, a mutual friend, Steve Woodard. Mm-hmm. I, I never knew people. Yeah, but, absolutely. Yeah, so that, that's that a Carolina thing. Tells you where you it's grow up, right? <laughs> absolutely. They, they put coleslaw on everything. <laughs> Barbecue, hamburgers. Yeah. All right, let me let me jump ahead because we're running out of time. Uh, chocolate-covered pepperoni slices. No? Yes? No? No. I, I like pepperoni, but I don't think that would taste good together. I don't know. Um, here, here's one. Now, this is wine poured into cheese that is shaped in the sh- shaped like a glass, a little shot glass. So wine and cheese shot glasses. Okay. Yep, the cheese. So how do you drink cheese? You, you drink the wine, I guess, and then you eat the glass. The glass is the cheese. Mm-hmm. That sounds oh. interesting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That would be fun. Seems like a lot of work. A lot of work. Uh, let's see. Bananas on pizza. Banana pizza. Oh, no. No, about out. No. I tried shrimp pizza one time. Uh, Not favorite. Bacon strips dipped in chocolate. Chocolate covered bacon strips. Yeah, I mean that's a that's a like a carnival thing. Yeah, it sounds um, like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wisconsin State Fair. And the number one <laughs> millennial junk food choice is Cheetos cookies. Oh, I haven't seen those. Cheetos. Yeah, my son would love that. Yeah. So your children are millennials then. No. Oh, one of them is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My oldest. Was oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. But he doesn't. He doesn't act like a millennial because I wouldn't let him. <laughs> <laughs> I work with a lot of millennials. They're not. He's not allowed to act. Like Twenty that. seconds, Galen. Where's the Where's the Bloodmobile today? Uh, Goodwill. We're at Goodwill today. Right here. Oh, nice. Right, right, right by the mall. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, all right. Go donate blood, save some lives, and then while you're in there, get a Cheetos cookie or something. <laughs> Thank you. you. Thank you, Galen. Be careful. All right, bye, y'all. All right, bye. 
Fox News Radio. I'm Lillian Wu. Some fellow Republicans say there shouldn't be a rush to judgment as the attorney general comes under fire for conversations he had with Russia's top diplomat last year during the presidential campaign season. Maybe an innocent contact. I don't know if he has to disclose everybody he's ever talked to. Republican Senator Lindsey Graham during a CNN town hall last night. Jeff Sessions, who calls the allegations false, had testified during his confirmation hearings he did not have communications with the Russians. Some Democrats accusing Sessions of lying under oath and demanding he resign. President Trump scheduled to speak aboard the USS Gerald Ford in Virginia. I'll give him a chance to sell his plan to increase military spending and make the case for the economic benefits of that. Tomorrow he's back down to Florida. He'll be at a Catholic school in Orlando. A chance to talk about education reform when he's there, especially school's choice. Connell McShane with the Fox Business Network. Fox News, we report, you decide. Can you tell if this burger contains bacteria that could cause kidney failure? Listen. Can't, can you? You can't see it either. There's only one way to tell if you've cooked meat and poultry to a bacteria killing temperature. Use a food thermometer. It's not an extra step or a nice to have. Raw or undercooked meat may contain bacteria that can make you very sick or worse. One in six Americans will get sick from food poisoning this year, and roughly 3,000 will die. But you can keep your family safer by using a food thermometer every time. Learn more about this and other important information. Check your steps at foodsafety.gov. That's foodsafety.gov. A public service announcement brought to you by the U.S. Department of Agriculture, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, and the Ad Council. Howdy folks, R.L. here for Dairy Queen Silver Springs. It's a new year full of good stuff and good food. So come on down to DQ at Silver Springs and start it off right. Because we've got things for your heart's delight. Chicken strips and pepper gravy and slaw or chili dogs oh so savory. Codfish and grilled burgers too. Made to order just for you. Creamy and frosty blizzards and shakes and all kinds of flavors for goodness sake. Dairy Queen Silver Springs where we always treat you like kings and queens. This is Jan Marino from Palm Garden. So often when you advertise, it's hard to quantify whether your efforts are effective. But I have a success story. In my travels to medical offices, I ran across someone who recognized my voice from the radio and told me that they felt like they already knew me because of my association with WOCA. My message to you, they're out there, they're listening. Truly, radio gets results. 96.3 FM, 1370 AM, WOCA, The Source. Want to go exploring with all the comforts of home? Discover the best of both worlds at the Ocala RV Show, March 2nd through 5th at Florida Horse Park. Thursday through Sunday, discover loads of RVs, great rates, win two $100 gift cards every day, no purchase necessary, adults $5, kids under 16 free. Thursday, buy one admission, get one free. Sunday, free admission with blood donation to Life South Community Blood Center. $2 off for military and first responders each day. It's the Ocala RV Show. Tired of looking at stained carpets, dirty tile, or grout? Call Silverback Restoration. 414-5312. Make your flooring look great again. Stains, pet odors, allergies... 